The Black Dolly Murder. One of my favorite bands of all time is finally back with a new album release. Today I'm talking about their new album entitled Ever Black. I'm Chainsaw Gears 12 and this is my review. I usually don't do this but I wrote down some notes to talk about about this record because I wanted to make sure I got to a lot of key points and basically don't forget some stuff that I need to talk about with this record. The first thing I do want to mention though is about the fact that there are some fans of this band that heard about the whole Shannon Lucas who was a major part of the Black Dolly Murder who in 2012 left the band and he was a key person to choose the new guy Alan Cassidy who was filling in and he's on this record to play with Black Dolly Murder after he left. Now there are some people that are concerned I've seen people commenting on their Facebook people commenting on the new song into the Ever Black which is a single about how they're kinda nervous about this new guy and let me just put some minds to rest and say in my personal opinion being a fan of this band this nocturnal hearing about them in 2008 that Alan did an amazing job on this album. He truly did. Of course, I'll get to that later when I talk about the sound of the band and when I get to him, talk about his drums, the sound, and how he contributed to this album. So let's get into basically some of the few key musical things that I found on this album. This album reminds me a lot of their past releases. And to some people, that's like, well, they're not really trying to expand their sound. Well, to me, it feels like each release they're expanding the way that they write. They're expanding how they write the riffs, how they put the songs together because on this album there are some songs that have some weird structures but it's not weird to where it doesn't sound right. It's weird in a sense of it's something they're not usually doing like what they've done on the past releases but on this album it feels like that the typical stuff you're used to know from this band is still here, the sound is still there and just the way that some of the songs are put together are just in my opinion a little bit different but in a good way this shows that the band is not consistently putting out the same record they're actually trying to expand their sound and expand the songs because the solos in general which I'll get to later on in the review but I just want to mention the solo work on this album is phenomenal I was just blown away how the solos came out on this album but back to just the general idea of the music this band is expanding and the fact is is that the music really reflects that because some of the songs like the opener which is entitled I gotta make sure you gotta remember this correctly and hell is where she waits for me which was the opener really sets you up for this album with this really eerie opening with the really cool riffs and the drumming and how they're setting you up with this really cool opener the song blasts through this really crazy aggressive track and it does set you up for the rest of this album because this album is aggressive like every past release this band has done once again you're in a ride for your life this album is aggressive when we get to the song blood mine which is i think a really interesting track as well also the track control which is really interesting to hear as well really just set set the tone of like there there's no worries there's no reason to worry about the fact yes Shannon Lucan uh, Lucas sorry did leave and yes the other bass player did leave I did not write his name down I'm sorry but it's just like you know this band is okay they're going to be okay and this album proves that let's go off to the sound of the band wrote down names to make sure I don't forget Trevor on vocals it feels like on each release his vocals are improving. It feels like he is able to just improve the way he sounds, how aggressive the low growls are, and how eerie and shocking the high screams are, and able to make sure that his words are being more understand by the majority of the audience listening to his lyrics. He's able to make his make it's, it's easier for him to uh, for us to understand him. That's what I'm trying to mention. And the fact is, like I just think he improves vocally on each album lyrically. The same thing what you said in the Black Dolly Murder. Very interesting to listen to, and he did really good on this album lyrically and vocally. Just he sounds a lot better. He's just getting better each album. I'm wanting to know what's going to happen on the next record. Is his vocals going to go into another range of excellence? Who knows. Brian on rhythm guitar. Now I'm going to set aside the, the solos and the rhythm, but I've, as we all know that Brian and Ryan do both rhythm, but Ryan does the lead, but we're talking about rhythm. So I think the rhythm is tighter on this album. It sounds like the riffs are tighter, they're more aggressive, and the fact that the, the guitar tone reminds you a lot of the past releases, but I did say this on the, uh, the, uh, the single, which was Into the Everblack, that the guitar tone sounded heavier. And throughout this album, I still believe that. It feels like that the guitar tone they picked for this album is heavier than Rituals. And that's kind of shocking because it's, it's each album after Nocturnal, the, it, for me at least, it sounds like the tone of the rhythm guitar is more aggressive. 
more heavier. And on Everblack, that is not, it's not different. It, it sounds like that it's gotten heavier than the last album. And just the way that the riffs were put together, the song structures, just the riffs are just intense on this album. That's what you need to understand. That's on every release I know. But this band is proving that they're not slowing down. The riffs are getting crazier. The riffs are getting more interesting to listen to. The riffs are getting more uh, not simplistic in a way. They're just getting more diverse and just able to expand that rhythm section because this band is based around two key elements guitars and drums that's what to me the black dolly murder is most known for is the drum work from shannon lucas and of course we'll get to the drumming in a minute with alan but the also the guitar work because the guitar work has always been intense insane crazy heavy aggressive mind-blowing and this is no exception on this album it's the same thing like i said all those words the rhythm section is just to die for Ryan on lead guitar. I didn't mention this earlier, but I feel like, to me personally, the lead guitar work on this album is phenomenal. It's just an epic to listen to. Each song has a guitar solo, and it's pretty long. And for me, it's 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 just an amazing. It, it's it's a moment to sit there and just enjoy the guitar work and just enjoy the guitar solo. On each album, after Nocturnal and leading up to getting more progressing more into their style of music. It seems like the solo work has always been improved on each record, like I think about how they're improving as musicians they are. The solo work is no different. The solo work on this album alone tends to just go from this melodic to, to crazy, shredding, just going, mind-blowing guitar work. <laughs> it's just like the, the melodic start, then we go to the shred. Or... You know, it's shred, then melodic, and then shred. There's so many capabilities because also in rhythm and section. Because the rhythm section likes to, to bring it back when the solos are really melodic. And they get crazy when the solos go crazy. That's how Black Dolly Murder works. So the solo work I'm trying to say is, is epic. It, it, there's no change in that whatsoever. Let's go to Max on bass, which is well, the first new guy. Uh, the bass guitar for me has never been a problem with uh, the bass is turned up on this album. There's never been an issue with me on past releases from this band. The bass guitar sounds good. Max is fitting in very well. But let's get to the drums. That is what everybody's been waiting for. The drums. Alan. Oh, so, I did say put your minds to rest and I, I, will, I will stick with that. Because... When I listen to this album a couple times and really get a feel of each track and really listening to each individual part and making sure that I understand everything that's happening in each track, the drums are phenomenal. Alan is doing an amazing job, and the thing is is that people were put at ease when they heard him play live and play the older songs. That's not the same as writing material. He did a phenomenal job live. He did an amazing job live, performing all these songs perfectly like Shannon did. Uh, in the studio and live. But when you get to the studio and write your own material, that's that's a whole different ballgame. Because I felt like half this record, or basically this record is more of a, uh, you know, a testing ground to see what the capability of Alan can do on drums. And I felt like he pulled off the drumming very well. A lot of double bass, a lot of drum fills, some really interesting drum parts he's doing on this album. Because Black Dolly Murder likes to put aggressive, crazy, riffs into songs and make songs really fast and really aggressive and a lot of different changes so you got to keep up with the tempo changes got to keep up with the different riffs to write a different drum part and i think alan did an amazing job i feel like this is the perfect guy to replace shannon unfortunately i wish shannon was still in the band but this is what we have we have alan and i think alan did an amazing job the 10 tracks in this album are just amazing and i think alan once again did an amazing job with all 10 tracks overall this band sounds tighter i know the new guys in it's kind of scary but in my personal opinion it's a phenomenal record ever black is just a album that's going to be put up there i think alongside with nocturnal Deflorate, and ritual and their and their older material as well i feel like that this band is continuing to get better each album ever black just proves that even though they do lose key members of the band, Shannon Lucas and the other guy, unfortunately, the member's name's probably in the description, saying I'm sorry, is that they can continue to put out amazing records. So I'm ready to see what the next record's gonna be. So for me, Everblack is a 9 out of 10, a phenomenal record from this band, and they need to continue, and they will. Because they approved on this album, we still got it. We can still do this. So Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. If you like me and you want to see more, click my name, subscribe to see more. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.